Hello, and welcome to another edition of Coffee Talk with immigration attorney Brian D. Lerner. Uh, in this particular episode, I would like to talk about why, if you are an immigrant, you should consider doing estate planning after you get the green card or residency and or after you become a US citizen. Uh, anybody who has gone through the immigration system knows that it takes years of fighting in order to make it happen. I mean, even if it only took you six to eight months to file and become a US citizen, first you had to file uh, all the paperwork to become a lawful permanent residency. And as many of you know, who have been through the process. Sometimes you had to uh, go through deportation proceedings. Sometimes you might have gone through an appeal to the Board of Immigration Appeals and maybe done uh, motions to reopen or waited years for the visa. Maybe you worked years on a perm, uh, you know, in order to uh, get the green card through employment and did the I-140 and adjustment. I mean, it's, it's a lot of work and it's a lot of time. And what happens is after you are done with uh, all of that, um, a lot of uh, immigrants will say, okay, I'm in the United States now. I'm safe. I'm here legally. There's nothing more that I need to do. And then go to the beach and relax, okay? Um, there certainly is time to go to the beach and relax. But uh, what you have to realize is that this is the first major part, you know, getting here legally and being able to stay here without fear, you know, that, that you're going to be deported or that you have to go back at a certain time. But then once you work so hard, you want to be able to protect your spouse, your children, um, in case you become either incapacitated or you die. Um, same goes for your spouse. Um, the last thing that you want to happen is to make it so that your children might be left with a situation where nobody knows what's to go to them, nobody has uh, protected them in any manner as far as devising uh, funds to for their support, uh, and nobody has been appointed, for example, as a guardian should you and your spouse die before they become 18 or both become incapacitated. Um, you have to protect them. And, you know, it, not just not just that, but if you uh, do become incapacitated, you need to have a health care power of attorney. You need to have, or sorry, uh, 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 you need to have health care directives, okay, which specify what you want done by whom in case you are incapacitated. You need to have a durable power of attorney to uh, have somebody else take care of your financial matters when you're incapacitated. It. Then you need to have, you know, where your your house is going to go, and where your bank accounts and your jewelry, and then what happens if you are married, for example, and your spouse uh, gets married to somebody else after you die, and uh, you know you you wanted to protect your kids. What happens with their educational funds um, to make sure that you know that they're going to end up going to college? What happens to the IRAs? and all of the accounts that you've worked so hard for. Um, I mean, I could go on and on with what's going to happen to all of these matters, but if you do the estate planning after you become legal, um, then you will have real peace of mind. And, you know, part of the American dream is making sure it doesn't all disappear once you become incapacitated or die. What is the use of working all those years to come here from another country to you know get sometimes a non-immigrant working visa to apply for years uh, go through the green card process then apply in another few years to go through citizenship to have it all disappear if you get in a car accident tomorrow okay uh, or when you get older you know you you um, have worked very hard both to come here and stay here legally and then of course you've worked very hard in your job your spouse has most likely worked hard um, and you want to protect them okay and you want your wishes to be followed it's not just 
protecting your family and your assets, but it's making sure that what you want happens. If you don't do estate planning, it's going to go to the state of California, okay, and it's going to go through probate, and they have what's called intestate succession, which is essentially California's estate plan, and they say they're going to devise so-and-so to this person, so-and-so to that person, and, you know, you might have an uncle or an aunt or a brother or somebody you have no contact with and don't want to have contact with uh, who ends up getting half your estate. You might have it go to uh, children of a mixed marriage, uh, you know, from another spouse, and you might have it go to them which you never wanted. You might have uh, everything you wanted to go to your children. Um, they might end up seeing very little. Um, when you're, uh, you know, if you become incapacitated, you might end up being put on life support for 13 years when what you really wanted was, you know, to tell your spouse to make a decision when to let you go, um, which they can't follow. Uh, they being the doctors unless there's legal documentation giving your spouse the right to do this so the estate planning is not for the wealthy it's not for the rich it's not for someone who owns you know a hundred and twenty million dollars um, there's even provisions for estate planning if all of your assets are below a hundred and fifty thousand dollars there's ways of essentially expediting what you want in such a manner that it still goes everywhere you want but it's done properly, okay? Um, and if you take care of it now, if you do what you need to now, you know, for example, you come through my firm, uh, we prepare, you know, the uh, last uh, will and testament, uh, pour over will, we prepare the living trust. Um, the reason it's a living trust is you're living while the trust exists. Um, we'll prepare all the provisions to follow your uh, directions to minimize taxes to maximize what gets distributed to whom. Um, you know, if you, for example, die first, so what goes to your spouse and then ultimately to your children, uh, we'll analyze it to see if we can avoid estate taxes. Uh, all kinds of things can happen. But most importantly, at the present time, you will have a peace of mind that if something happens to you, you will be taken care of your family will be taken care of, your decisions and your wishes will be honored and followed. People you don't want to have to deal with, you won't have to. Um, it won't become public record. There's just all kinds of benefits to it. I mean, you know, I guarantee you that, for example, people get in car accidents and end up in the hospital unable to speak. Uh, none of them thought that it would happen either, okay? Um, so while you are able, while you are physically fit, uh, even while you are young, do what you have to do to get the estate planning done. Uh, you can call my firm. We'll give you a free consultation. Get it all done. When it's all said and done, you have a nice binder with everything uh, you wanted, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, more on the coming videos.